Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. The original home once owned by Burt Reynolds no longer stands on this lot in the state's capital, but the actor's impact on the city is far from gone. He was a giver. FSU president John Thrasher says Reynolds, who graduated from the university in 1958, never forgot his alma mater. His early days here and the reputation that he established as a, an incredible movie star and uh, all the other things he did really helped put FSU on the map. Reynolds played two seasons on the FSU football team, both cut short by injuries. After going into acting, he continued supporting the team. When he built Reynolds Hall for the athletes uh, back in, I guess, in the 80s, uh, that was a big contribution back then. He bought uniforms at one time for the athletes. But his greatest focus was always FSU's theater and film programs, where he often returned to teach students. We spoke with Paul Cohen, a film professor at FSU, who's currently attending the Toronto Film Festival. He would come and do master classes. I mean, literally stayed for weeks at a time. He was enormously generous and giving and kind with his time. 